So we're going to go ahead and foam roll the hamstrings, and we can also do, we can combine this with the calves. Essentially what we're doing is, if we just work on the calves first, we're just going the length up and down of the calf, so you've got to get that roller in place. And you do kind of have to lift your body a little bit to go up and down. What oftentimes with the calves, you're going to find some good knots. This again can be done with a softball. So you're just going to kind of roll side to side. Janelle's using the opposite leg right now to help add a little bit of pressure. And just find those knots. You'll find those in your calves. Oftentimes you don't need to kind of roll back and forth, but you just find that spot. Then from there, you can just slide right up into the hamstring and start at the hip or the knee. It doesn't matter because you're going to do the whole length. And you're just going to run up and down from the glute right to the back of the knee trying to keep it as smooth as possible as you go. And again, just like every other kind of a roll, you're going to stop and dig into those real sensitive spots. Make sure you're breathing. You can rotate your leg. Remember, there's a lot to your legs, so rotate it from side to side. And just find those sensitive areas. Work your breathing. Roll, stop, roll, and just loosen everything up the backside of the leg. Next up, we're going to hit the glute. In this example, Janelle is using the foam roller. This could also be done a little bit more aggressively um, with a softball or a lacrosse ball. And we're kind of getting the glute. We get up into the, the, the piriformis up high there. Now, you'll notice that Janelle is doing a little bit more advanced technique. I'd recommend starting with the foot on the ground and just finding the spot. Um, and it can be very sensitive, so you might feel a big conjunct bump kind of a thing. So work through that. If you need to want to combine like a good stretch along with that rolling, and you need a little more aggression, then you're going to go ahead and cross that leg over the opposite knee and really get start digging in. So just work around the entire glute, piriformis, outer glute, the whole butt cheek itself. And again, if you want a little bit more uh, of an aggressive, you need something a little bit more than a foam roller, this is a great way to, to use uh, a softball or a lacrosse ball. Supine pelvic tilts. Okay, now this is actually a challenge for a lot of folks who are really tight in the hips and the lower back. Okay, what Janelle's gonna do, and actually she puts her hands on her hips, it'll help us with the video a little bit, and it'll help you as you try to do the exercise. What she's gonna do is think about tucking your tail and arching your back, and basically going back and forth between those two things. Now, you really gotta look and see Janelle as she does it. So here she goes, she's gonna tuck the tail, here it goes, boom, so her hips actually rise a little bit towards her, and then she's gonna go the other direction, and actually arch the back. We're just trying to get some motion in those hips, get them tilting back and forth. And in this position, it's, it's challenging, but it's a really good way to get some hip control and get that pelvis to loosen up. I'm going to show a few different leg lowering variations. The first one, we're going to have Janelle with the right leg staying bent the way it is, and then the left leg up, I'm trying to point that toe towards her. As she exhales, She's going to lower that leg slowly, keeping her lower back firmly planted to the ground, keeping her abdominals tight. Generally, we like a six second exhale on the down and a three second inhale on the up. So you're gonna feel a lot of this in the core, okay? And also in the hip. Now we can make this a little more challenging by putting both legs up into the air and doing the exact same thing. Think of this like a scissor. Pull the one leg towards you as you lower the other. Now, a lot of people are gonna struggle with this and they can't get their legs straight up. You can see Janelle in the video is not quite straight up. So that's where the band comes into play. So we wrap the band around the foot. We can hold that leg, pull down so your elbows are, are on, the, on the ground. And now you've got some resistance. You're gonna feel that immediately. That's gonna, one, it's gonna help you hold your leg up, but two, you're actually getting a stretch on that leg as well while she leg lowers on the other side, working that hip, working that core. So again, think of a six second exhale on the way down, keeping the low back firm to the ground, and a three second inhale on the way up. Some leg lowering variations. The quadruped pelvic tilt. So Janelle is in what we call the quadruped position. Basically, she's on her hands and knees. Okay. And what she's going to do is she's going to do pelvic tilt. So she's going to keep the upper back, the thoracic spine, straight. And all the motion is going to be in the pelvis. So you see her back arching there, and then she's going to tuck her tail under as much as she can, but without rounding the back. So this is really all about getting hip control, pelvic control. Really good for people who have really tight hamstrings, tight lower backs, and they're just really stiff in the pelvis area. So we arch that back, and then we tuck that tail underneath. So anterior and posterior pelvic tilts.